Hi viewers, this is uh, Rodolco2007. This uh, particular video is well overdue. Firstly, I want to wish everybody a belated, very happy Christmas. Uh, Christmas was quite busy for me, so I had a few bits and pieces to deal with. Family and uh, things like that. And I thought this meter had been sitting here for a while. And my channel was originally built for metering videos, so this was well and truly overdue, let's say it that way. This old Ferranti three-phase meter was given to me by one of my friends, Steve, he's a colleague at work, and he scored it somewhere, the building was being demolished and it was used as a check meter. Um, this is a Ferranti meter from Holland Wood, England, United Kingdom. My guess, uh, it's vintage years, probably 1930s. Um, it's a three-phase version of the FL series, which was late 30s, early 40s, was a meter was designed then. So it's quite a cool meter, and I'll go into a bit of details uh, shortly, and I'll take the covers off as well. The meter runs very well. There is no polling of the disc uh, towards the brake magnet or potential slash current calls. The counter got uh, ground disc type uh, dials in here and I'll try to find an example of this. Uh, the, the dials themselves, they rot rotate on flat ground discs. Really cool. This type of registers uh, was used also in vintage cars also in the early 1900s. It's quite a cool concept with the Geneva's in a flat plane for this particular meter. Email meters in Australia used to have a design in the 80s, um, M1 and M2 version with some of these uh, disc uh, or these flat wheel uh, number drums more or less and um, I think they are featured an old older meter for my collection but this is uh, was the originator of these particular meters. I think there's supposed to be a fast flip over between the tens. So we got a decimal pointer in a red a clock dial and then the units here, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. So the numbers are arranged in a pattern like this on the number wheels and the Geneva is here at the back. Really cool uh, the way I've done that and then uh, Number number down out of this particular dial. And I'll cut it out. This is from a, a register from an old FD meter. Found the FDB and it's got all these uh, Geneva's in here. You can see the discs. This is a four dial particular register. And this is one of the email ones I mentioned before. It has a uh, Similar concept it was used in the 80s, maybe early 90s, but it was probably more expensive to make. Although this is plated steel or aluminium compared with the other old dials, which are made from uh, brass. So, yeah, it's a real cool concept when they use in these meters. The meter still had a utility seal on the two, so it's probably been issued by a power company. I got it connected up to a uh, Variac uh, transformateur, 24 volts, 240 in, phantom loaded, so uh, yeah, I'm drawing from the mains about uh, 0.16 ampere, if I ramp it up, it's current going into the Variac, so we got 0 0.7, and we probably got about uh, 30 to 40 ampere going through the winding here on the meter. So yeah, that's just a simple way of testing these things. I've taken the cover off the meter, it's actually beautifully made. Completely brass mechanism here. 
So we can uh, look at the inside a bit. Yeah, you can see the coals. Uh, um, red, yellow, blue, and that will be the three phases, the potential calls at the bottom. And the current calls, uh, get a bit better look on that, that's the nameplate. Standby. Calls are these things, here is the black winding. Varnish, you can see the red and the blue face, while the other face is not really visible from here, that's sitting at the back. Very cool, the disc got a glass center. You can see it's pure glass, you can look through the disc. It's just quite amazing how they make these things. Never to be made again with the plastic age we live in now. Okay, I'll zoom it in and then uh, we'll see if we can get a click on the tens. We need to let it run a bit more and then uh, see how it's going to perform. It's uh, 37, so the 7, 8, 6, 3, 7. The clip on meter on here, the meters uh, current is about 30, 35 ampere. I hope you can see it here. Uh, the elements are series, so it's really looking at uh, 3 times 30 ampere load this meter. So I hope you can see this particular meter. All right, I'll see if we're going to get a click. Let the camera win and then uh, we'll put it all together. And the click works. Magic. The pointer is not really lined up that well, but the click works. There we go. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for a metering buff like myself, this is always awesome stuff. And uh, I'll see if we can pop a TV or something blow some shit up before the end of the year and then uh, celebrate 2021 hopefully less COVID we're pretty lucky in New Zealand uh, we haven't got too many dramas uh, the few cases they're all in uh, quarantine and we have our full freedom we are in level one but we can still go to the beach we can have parties we can do all types of stuff so I feel sorry for people in America uh, Europe where it's uh, very bad very out of control and let's hope these pandemics uh, get sorted, they find a medicine for it and get everybody uh, uh, sorted out and hopefully everybody can enjoy a good time. Thanks for watching.